everyone and welcome to a new edition of Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go. This series, the Horizon Festival dresses itself in blue and orange tones to encourage asphalt and off-road racers to earn points by participating in the brand new Horizon Race Off event. We cannot wait to tell you more about it, so let's hurry up and take a look at today's show schedule. To kick things off, we'll break down the new Horizon Race Off community event that I just mentioned. We're going to talk about what it is, how to participate, and what rewards you can earn. Ooh. Next, we'll walk you through the events and rewards you can earn as well in this month's festival playlist. Then it'll be time for your regularly scheduled Event Lab of the Month Spotlight. We'll also check out all the new reward cars you could be adding to your garage this season alongside a brand new car pack. And finally, because the Horizon Festival, well, it never sleeps, we're going to take a sneak peek at what's coming your way next month. All right then, let's get the show on the road. Let's start by introducing our guests for today's show. First up, one of our favourite guests of all time, it's game designer Ashley Kennedy, back on the couch. How are you and what have you been playing, my love? I'm doing great, thank you. Um, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. As my co-workers know, it's probably the only game I play. <laughs> um, <laughs> we need to like friend up on it, by the way, because I've just, I've just started dipping my toes into it and I could do with a pocket healer, I won't lie. I'm lost most of the time. I actually started off as a healer, so... Oh, uh, there we go. This was meant to happen. Right, noted. Uh, up next is another key member of the Horizon Evolving World team. It's environment artist Mihaela Siora. Are there any games that you've been enjoying lately, my love? I'm still playing Fallout 4. Very good. In prep for the TV show, I would hope. Of course, yes. Fully role playing <laughs> what you expect every episode will be. I'm very excited for it, but I'm trying not to think way too much about it. I'll just mm. let it, you know, let it happen. Last minute. Exactly, yeah. Great advice for everyone. <laughs> Big fan of that. And last but not least, I'm thrilled to tell you for the first time ever, his inaugural show joining us in person. You may recognize him. It's community manager Ali Tak. As you can see, it's tradition. What have you been playing? Talk to me. Yeah. Uh, well, this weekend uh, I had a cold and oh, went no. yeah under duvet with a new Factorio uh, campaign. I so, see. Yeah. Okay, what's Factorio? And yeah, it's like mining and conveyor belts and little factories and then more complex things. I'm and learning a I, lot about you yeah. today, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I close my eyes. It's an Excel sheet back here. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ones where you go to sleep, you're still playing the game, yeah. thinking about, okay, perfect. I figured it out. Love it. All right, then. Now we've got that out of the way, it's time to welcome a healthy dose of competition with the Horizon Race Off community event that I mentioned right at the top of the show. Ash, I think you're going to be telling us a bit more about this one. I am. So as you said, it's a community event. Um, Horizon Race Off has two teams, uh, the asphalt racers and the off-road racers. Mm -hmm. And as players um, drive in specific events, they will accumulate points for either team. Okay. Um, so for asphalt racers, if you race in road, drag, street, midnight battles, uh, Hot Wheels Speed and Apex Predators events, they will give you points towards that team. And for off-road racers, it's Dirt, Cross Country, Hot Wheels Hazard, uh, Horizon Raptors and Gr Grit Reapers events. That That's where you're going to be finding me. Off-road all the time, baby. She, yeah, I basically just can't stay on the road. So that's where I'm going to be. Lovely. I'm more of an asphalt person myself. Oh, OK. Consensus in the room. What do we think? What's everyone else feeling? Probably off-road for me. Off-road? Yeah, and, and not just for balance, but, you know, asphalt. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. what I know about you is you like balance and you like your XL Sashi. <laughs> I think that's a tactical vote, Ali. <laughs> I'm soothed, though, by the balance exactly. in the room now. I just don't want to upset anyone. <sighs> <laughs> Um, however, event labs, uh, rivals and monthly rivals, stories, expeditions and showcases do not contribute points to these events. Okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. Just go race to your heart's content and earn those points. Amazing. That sounds really, really fun. And you can be on either side, right? There isn't like a selection menu where you pick one side or the other. Yeah, so basically just pick the events you want to race in. So like if you do prefer road racing, just go do road races and your game points for asphalt races. You could mix it up and play both teams mm -hmm. and either way everyone um, will get the rewards from participating. Wonderful. Okay. And we can you can also sort of showcase what side you're supporting. There's a couple of outfits in the game that have added as well. You can see them right there. Stunning. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely picking the side I'm off -road. on. Off-road. Absolutely. <laughs> Off-road for the win, 100%. <laughs> I want to uh, shout out Mikhail and Ivan from the Horizon Character Art team, by the way, for working on both of those. Great work. Gold stars for you both. And I'm giving you next week off, I've decided. <laughs> uh, Ash, is there anything else you want to share about it? Uh, yeah, so each time you complete a race event, you'll uh, get a little notification on the bottom of your screen that says you've contributed points to the asphalt races or the road races. Mm -hmm not road races, uh, off-road races. Um, and these points will be seen as 
on a progress bar in the festival playlist screen, but also in the uh, mini festival sites. Um, we have working scoreboards, mm -hmm. which uh, fill up as the progress bar also fills up. <gasps> Mm -hmm. and they uh, just light up and show how far everyone is getting along. And then it makes a bit of a competition as well to see who's far ahead. I just want to point out that Ali is doing this camera right now and you're doing a super... This is the reason why we've asked you to come this month, right? <laughs> he cuts me now. There's, There's like no a... special effects here. This is all Ali. <laughs> like a fleck of drool coming down my chin as I, as I focus on my thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michaela, do you want to talk a little bit more about the, these mini, mini festival sites themselves? Because they're gorgeous from what we've seen yeah. so far. Yeah, so uh, we were in charge of four mini festival sites and uh, they are just scattered around. We've got one for each week, so you just have to go and find them first. Oh, they're different locations? Yes. Ooh, I love it. Um, and we've got a couple of things uh, around them just to kind of help the player find those festival mm -hmm. sites. So, for example, we'll have um, some powder, co colored powder that mm -hmm. we'll just shoot in the air. And you can see it only during the daytime in specific like time of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and also we've got some billboards that will kind of help you. Uh, like follow. smashable kind of billboards. Yes, nice. of course. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got all of those fun things that will help you find the festival sites and then when you get to it, you can enjoy um, enjoy them. And as you can see, we've got it split into two halves, mm -hmm. the asphalt blue and the off-road orange. And uh, we've got three entrances and in those entrances we've got countries, uh, one for the asphalt racers, which is blue, and the other one is the off-road uh, racers, which is orange. And, and then the marks that Ali's put on the floor are just Ali's problem. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, don't come with the outpost. <laughs> don't worry about that. It contributes my signature. That's <laughs> <laughs> how you know Ali is like Zorro, right? <laughs> Let, let's see if people can actually do what Ali has done. <laughs> if they can. It takes a master to make yes. that kind of mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, uh, Ali will just go through this and we've got confetti cannons. Um, like yeah, uh, the, 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 the VFX team has worked on this mm -hmm. and just made it more interesting for the players to just drive around when they come into the uh, site or leaving. And that was orange on that side, so I'm hoping they color match to each entrance and exit. Ali, yeah, do you want to give us a little let's try? See. <laughs> Stunning. Yeah, we'll go blue, blue check. Now, have you gone so far? Have the VFX team gone wild with power? <laughs> yes. Is the other one mixed? Just to point out, we do have a couple of the orange mixed with the blue because, you know, in real life, they mix together yeah. sometimes. <laughs> and the That's other really, way around. That's such an intricate detail. I love yeah, that. Yeah, they, they do really pay attention to detail. <laughs> and uh, in the main entrance, we've got a mixture of the both. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, we they have added the confetti decals because it's just interesting to just drive around yeah. and see them floating and being scattered Physics around. of them exactly. Up off the floor, yeah. uh, you can just uh, drive around here for hours just because of and those I decals. I think I will. Thank <laughs> you for the permission. Um, I want to go back to the the scoreboards actually because you mentioned them. We we fill them up, and what happens at the end of a scoreboard is you get a reward. You so do. what are they going to be? So for asphalt racers, you get the uh, 2024 Ford Mustang GT, mm -hmm. which is a really nice car. Oh, like, look at that beaut. Very nice. Beautiful. And then for the off-road racers, you get the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R, which is, again, another really nice car by Ford. Mm, and so will players, uh, sort of going back to that question before of not needing to, to pick a side, when both school boards are complete, everyone gets both cars, yeah. right? Because I know there'll be comments about that. Yeah, don't yeah. worry everyone you'll get both of your cars <laughs> amazing so that's i love that and you said that we can see this in the festival playlist as well there'll be like a little graphic for it as well yeah there's gonna be a nice screen that you i have made awesome okay good stuff i also hear that there's another smashable for halo of in there of course well? we we had to bring them in the festival sides mm -hmm. and we've got two smashable uh, pinata helmets mm -hmm. one for the asphalt which is blue oh, you can see it in the image and the other one is the off-road one and uh, they are smashable you good because i will test them <laughs> so you say you'll, you'll find these these are localized around i nearly went into a simpsons bit they're localized entirely in a festival <laughs> no. uh though you'll find them around is like in the run-up and a sign that you're in the right area for you, these new locations you have to look for them yeah. yes Ooh, okay do Which we know how many that they're gonna be um 
I'm not really sure, but I'm I don't... read that as I'm not going to tell you, Charlie. Find out for yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make it, you know, spoil your fun. So I know the team have also put a lot of time into making sure it looks just as beautiful at night with it being an evolving world game and everything. So do you want to talk a little bit about what the VFX team have added for the nighttime sequence? Yes, of course. So uh, as you can see, we've got loads of color and I want to mention it's the VFX team and the lighting team. Mm -hmm. They've done such an amazing oh, the job The lighting here. team has definitely appeared at work today for sure. Exactly. <laughs> and as you can see, it has got the laser lights behind, it has got a projector, so you can't really miss it. Mm -hmm. So when you drive during the night time and you're trying to find the festival sites you you should be able to find them um Ali, oh this camera honestly <laughs> i am in awe I'm in my elements today <laughs> <laughs> never leave us please <laughs> but again as ali is showing us uh, all of that beauty uh mm. yeah uh, you can see it from far away absolutely yeah you can't miss it anymore yes uh, but yeah. if you come closer you can see what the lighting here has done uh, to the gantries, to the entrances, mm -hmm. uh, because they just light up, they make it look more pronounced as well. So I, I think it's just really fun to drive around, but not just that, but also take pictures. Oh my goodness, yes, so many pictures are going to be taken here, yes. especially with those reward cards as well when they come along. That of being course. And again, so the good. VFX team has worked on that, so whenever you at some point, you'll come back here and you'll actually see it uh, filling up. Oh, is there going to be someone come on the stage with a Sharpie and scribbling it all <laughs> up? Or is it is it the lighting team also are, are involved with a scoreboard? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I like, like it today. Thank you so much for all of that wonderful insight and Ali for the camera as well. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm told there might be something players need to look out for for April Fool's Day. I'm going to guess. You can't tell me too much more about it, but I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> well, uh, I think we'll just let the players figure it out and Darn. would like to see um, you try it and uh, okay, see perfect. your opinion. I will live stream my whole reaction and I'll make sure that yeah. it's spectacular. So, yeah, thanks again. <laughs> Amazing to walk through. But if you want some more reward cars, if everything in the race off weren't quite enough for you, then don't worry. As always, we are about to go through the festival playlist rewards. And Ash, you're going to walk through this one as well. I am. So, uh, much like the community event is called Race Off, mm -hmm. uh, the festival playlist is called Horizon Race Off. What symbolism, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your 80 point reward for this series is the number two Audi S1, mm -hmm. and your 160 point reward is the Galado Spider. And as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, um, you can also track the progress of Horizon Race Off here in the festival playlist the screen. Cute little cars. <laughs> They're so oh, cute. I love, I love them. I'm pretty sure as the bar fills up, those little cars move towards Ooh, the flag. Okay, nice. So they're having their own competition race. everywhere in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that. Um, the good. UI team done, have done a fantastic job. As Week always. off for them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Lots okay. of weeks off. Yeah, yeah, I'm just letting the whole studio go, apparently. <laughs> um, should we have a look at what is happening in some of them? Yeah, so for summer, your 20 point reward is the McLaren. Aaron Artura and your 40 point reward is the Porsche Macan RR. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your weekly challenges which for all weeks this week has two cars, uh, one that's focused on asphalt and one that's focused off road. Keeping Lovely. The theme. Yep. Uh, for example the, the summer has two Subarus which mm -hmm. is always really exciting. You have your daily challenges, your Forzathon shop, you have Horizon Arcade this week, uh, the trial and then your event lab for this week is Taka no Michi Night Race by Joe C. Oh, Joe C. Um, yeah, he Josie. always makes fantastic events. And this is just another one of his amazing creations. Uh, it's a race that's decorated to look like you're driving through a oh, Japanese wow. village. Uh, it's quite short, but it's snappy and it's so fun to drive. Like those tight corners that you have to yeah, take. Yeah, tight corners, tight track as well. It's all very, very close. That looks so good. Yeah. Ali, I'm going to assume that you're best friends with Josie by this point, right? <laughs> yeah, well, shout out to Josie. He's amazing, isn't he? Yeah, and, and yeah, really I mean, good. long time community member. So great to see him still creating just amazing event labs. I mean, yeah, yeah hopefully. He won't. Not a week off for Josie. <laughs> yeah, Keep back going. to it, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> what about next month's playlist? You never know. There might be a gap. All right, what else have we got? Uh, you have PR stunt this week, which is Anything Goes S2. And then four race off and because of the different race types needed for gathering points um yeah four seasonal championships this oh, week okay. uh, one of each race type and they're all in different buckets mm -hmm. which is really fun you have a treasure hunt and your photo challenge you have the eliminator this week um, you have your monthly rivals uh, your rally adventure events and your hot wheels events okay so over to autumn 
Uh, yeah, so in autumn, your 20 point reward is the Audi TT RS, and your 40 point reward is the Honda Trophy Truck. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your weekly challenges. Oh, what are the two in that one? What have we got? Uh, a Chevrolet and a Renault. Very yeah. nice. Um, you have your daily challenges, you have your Forsython Shop, uh, you have your trial, you have Playground Games this week, which is anything goes S2, and the same with your two day, uh, PR stunts. Mm -hmm. And then you have your four seasonal championships. Uh, you have your treasure hunt yep. and your photo challenge. And this week is our first collectible, which is the lovely off-road helmet oh, pinata. That's where they appear, very nice. <laughs> um, you have your monthly rivals, your rally adventure events, and your Hot Wheels events. Is that a Dune reference there? Sorry, on the rally adventure, it's just Dunes. I think that's just the name of the, just the thing. Yeah. I don't think that was intentional. <laughs> I'm reading too deep into this. <laughs> we'll move swiftly onwards. What does winter look like? <laughs> So winter looks like this. Your 20 point reward is the Mustang SVT and your 40 point reward is the Toyota 4Runner. Mm -hmm. uh, your weekly challenges, you've got the Nissan Silvia Spec R and the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution X GSR. Well done. <laughs> 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 uh, you have your daily challenges, your Forsython shop, uh, you have the trial and we have an event lab by Wanderer 2K19 called Sneezing Dragon Circuit. Achoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, so this crater has built up like this impressive city uh, on Event Lab Island and incorporates a lot of neon decor, including a handmade uh, neon dragon. Oh really? Yeah, it's really cool. They handmade, like, what, what, what pieces do they use to make that? I think it's um, some neon of the midnight. Yeah, like, right? these ne little neon tubes that are really cute. Um, oh, nice. It's very impressive that they managed to do I'm always all amazed. of that. Yeah. Consistently so amazed. Creative. Uh, well, I suppose, Ali, you probably see a lot of that, the way, being so close to the community, right, is just discovering yeah. new elements and making dragons out of neon tubing <laughs> and stuff. So creative, isn't it? And <laughs> there's always these kind of second and third uses for things that you wouldn't expect people to use them for. I, mm. I love seeing that. It's, and those cities as well. It's the cities always feeling. blow yeah. my mind. Because yeah. I think I've said this in previous shows as well. It truly, you feel lifted into a different video game that just happens to have right. the same driving mechanics <laughs> and UI that Forza Horizon 5 has. <laughs> <laughs> and continuing on, we have your PR stunt for this week, which is a trailblazer in Anything Goes S2, and your four seasonal championships. You have your treasure hunt and your photo challenge. Uh, you have Horizon Open this week, and also your second collectible, which is oh. the uh, Apex Helmet Piñata, mm -hmm. with the appropriate reward of a Piñata Pop. Very good, yes. <laughs> uh, you have your monthly rivals, your rally adventure events, and your Hot Wheels events. Lovely. And last but not least, we'll take a jaunt to spring. Okay, into spring, we have your 20 point reward, the Jaguar F Type SVR, and your 40 point reward is the number 42 Extreme E. Does anyone else hear Extreme E? <laughs> I don't, it might just be me <laughs> having a very juvenile brain, but I feel like that would just be stuck in my head constantly. <laughs> Uh, you have your weekly challenge, which is the 2013 Dodge Viper and the 2017 Ford M Sport Fiesta RS. Mm -hmm. uh, your daily challenges, the Forza Thun Shop, uh, the trial, and then your final event lab for this month is a uh, figure eight tunnel by the Filthy Honey. Nice. Um, so this one, as the name suggests, is that the race oh. is in the shape of a figure eight. Ah. And they've incorporated a really cool invisible platform, which makes you look okay. like you're floating. And oh, that bit the before, that wasn't a jump. That's, yeah. oh, nice. That's an okay. actual platform. Um, wow. And yeah, it's just really smooth to drive on. I really enjoyed like driving on it. And it looks like a Hadron Collider. That's so, it. you know, all of us nerds can be happy about, about <laughs> what one of those does. I don't know. I'm sorry. What next in the playlist, please? <laughs> um, you have your PR stunt for this week, which is a speed trap in Anything Goes S2. Your seasonal championships. You have Horizon Tour this week and a photo challenge. Um, you have your monthly rivals, your rally adventure events, and your Hot Wheels events. Stunning, a well-rounded and beautiful, well done for birthing such a grand festival playlist. Um, players, that's going to be all up for you when the season is available. But before we deep dive over into some of the cars that we've walked through, uh, Ali, you unfortunately have to leave us, but you do have a lovely parting message, don't you? Yeah, I do. So this year, in celebration of Black History Month, Xbox commissioned artist Dominique Ramsey to design the Xbox logo in recognition of amplifying black stories. Her design is influenced by Ethiopian, Nigerian and Ghanaian art and textiles. And in her words, this piece with its varied colours and textures highlights that black people may look different from each other in many ways. But acceptance for our fellow community members sets a wonderful example for everyone around us. Oh, Ali, that's lush. I really love that this was something the Forza team did. Could not agree with their message more. And players had the chance to use this design as a vinyl on their cars this month. And amazingly, this is the result. Have a look.
we are back with a lovely new face on the couch, might I add. For the very first time, please welcome me in joining senior vehicle handling designer, Michael Robson. How are you, my love? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Wonderful. Now, I asked the top of the stream for everyone else, but I do want to know, what have you been playing recently? Uh, I've actually been playing Super Mario Wonder recently. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I'm trying to get through that. Uh, it depends if I have my nephew with me, how quickly <laughs> I get through that. Of course. What, I'm, to carry you or...? Well, I'm more of the, I'm just going to get through this, and he's sure. more of the chaos. Stop um, the flowers, yeah. So that's that. So, But when he's not around, I get through it pretty quick. Wonderful. And as this is, again, the first time we spoke to you, you're going to need to help explain to me a little bit. A vehicle handling designer. Are you like, they are all out in a pair, and you put them to bed every night or is there something else that your role does in a way virtually uh -huh. we do that uh, but yeah we're the people who are kind of working on the gameplay elements which go into the vehicle so like simulating real world aspects of vehicles mm -hmm. and then making that fun for the player at home love it making them look good making them nice and fun okay. i'm a big fan of you michael <laughs> right i also think you're going to take us through one of our first reward cars for the show that we're going to do a deep dive in and that is the 2023 mclaren right yeah, we've got this lovely McLaren Artura here, which is one of the latest McLarens. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting vehicle for McLaren because it's actually the first V6 that they've done. Okay. So all of the modern McLarens since the MP4 12C have been V8s. And so this is V6 and also it's a plug-in hybrid as I spin out there. I was going to say, <laughs> as your first drift, that was nearly perfect, so... Maybe it's just too much car for me. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting with the plug-in hybrid, hybrid aspect because that's just the way things are going now with mm -hmm. all cars and even supercars as well. Mm -hmm. And the V6 is, I think, like a great piece of engineering as well because it's actually... The V is at 120 degrees rather than the conventional 90. Okay. Uh, so it makes extra space for them to put the twin turbos in between the two banks of the V. Mm -hmm. uh, so that just saves some space for the hybrid that they've got to add in. So that's uh, it's very interesting. And talking of space, I tend to ask this question to whoever will listen to me when we talk about supercars. Is there room for a Tesco bag? Can I put my shopping in this one? In the front. In the front. In the front, there will be space. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you saying frunk? Frunk, yeah, the frunk. Yeah. Well, hold on, you're saying frunk. The That's fr the front trunk. The front trunk. This is a revelation. This is my favourite day on planet Earth. I everyone frunk. Knew this, but maybe no, that's the first time designers. I've heard this ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shopping in the frunk. Good to know. Anything else fun about this car? Because we can stop there. <laughs> I mean, a, a lot. Sold. I mean, probably not as fun as that. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, the hybrid's like really cool. Um, when you actually turn it on, it's only in electric mode, which mm -hmm. is kind of quite interesting. Um, you can only do 19 miles on that, oh. and you only get 95 horsepower. Oh. Uh, but that's actually um, until you warm up the engine, um, until you kind of select a different driving mode, the engine mm -hmm. comes on. It holds the RPM, I think 1500 RPM. Mm -hmm. And then when it's warmed up, then you can use the petrol engine as well. Okay. Uh, but you know, it has its advantages because you don't want to wake your neighbours up in the morning. So drive off silently, <laughs> uh, all through town on your way to do your shopping. Of course, and with then, the frunk, yes. <laughs> with the frunk. <laughs> And then once that engine roars into life, off you go. And this is a very, very super capable uh, car. Nice. So Ash, I know about you that you're a, a supercar fanatic, obviously, and I know you're on the market to buy a new one. Are you interested in these now that they're plug-in hybrids? Should yeah. we go for a jaunt to the shop? It's a jaunt again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did my daily, daily? My weekly shopping uh, mm -hmm. the other week. So I don't need anything right now, but okay. I'll be certain to take this car. This if you need to go and get any bits. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Good stuff. All right, then. I think we look at another vehicle, Michael, whenever you're ready. And this one is going to be the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R. Yeah. So one of the latest uh, F-150s that Ford have produced and uh, also the most powerful. So mm. the normally uh, the normal F-150 has got only like 450 horsepower, mm -hmm. which is obviously not wah, great. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a, a, a V6 uh, turbo. Um, but they thought, why don't we put um, out of the Shelby GT500? Why not? Let's put in the V8 supercharged. Got one engine. kicking around, yeah. So we've got 700 horsepower uh, mm -hmm. in this vehicle. 
So it will basically go uh, wherever you want it, it well, to. Well, you just <laughs> used all of them, launching it into the air then. Very nice. Yeah, it's, it's a very just super capable car. Just basically put your foot down and you will smash through anything. You will drive <laughs> over anything. A stunning example, I would say, as to why this is the reward car for the off-road uh, scoreboard challenge for this season. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, it's just really great because even despite it weighing 2.8 tons, like it will still go 0 to 60 in just under four seconds, which mm -hmm. is pretty remarkable, to be honest. Um, it's not bad. And there's some nice little details you get with the paintwork as well. If I just come to an abrupt stop. <laughs> um, if we actually like look close up on the paintwork that we've got the Raptor R, uh -huh. and when you look close up, it's actually made up of loads of little eights <laughs> to get that <laughs> dried desert that's look. That's so good. Um, so those. So the dried desert look. Yeah, that's the cracking dried desert oh, you've got I right see. in front of okay. you. Oh, I see. Okay. So for most people, it will just look like a normal F one fifty, but those people that know will see the little eights, okay, and yeah. they will know that you've got. Now the everyone best knows because these cameras are switched on. <laughs> And you've just said that out loud. I know, what knowledge I've got of these vehicles. <laughs> Uh-oh, I thought you were going to smash into that then. Of course Ooh. not. It would be bad for the other vehicle, the Raptor, no problem. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It is in your job title, is it not? <laughs> yeah. I'm very impressed with your handling skills. Oh, yeah, you. very Thank well. You. I'll yeah. give you that £10 later. <laughs> we should increase it. 2000 maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we agreed on 10. So. <laughs> so is there anything else fun we need to know about this car? It's just kind of an all-round really practical car. Like it's got some really nice kind of touches to mm -hmm. the interior. Um, so you can, uh, in real life, you can make the, as I struggle to go to head camera there, um, <laughs> but you can make the gear stick just actually fold down. So okay. you can fold out a table to do your paperwork, get your laptop, to have your lunch. A little picnic, yes, love it. And uh, yeah, if you put the back down uh, to do the loading, it's actually got a little step in there that folds out, a uh -huh. little bar, mm -hmm. and it's got an actual ruler on it as well. So you a can do ruler? Some, just in case you forget your measuring tape at the building Do site. they just do like user feedback and forward fan out that drivers want rulers in their cars or something. I mean, I'm often found without my ruler. So <laughs> You're really caught short of a ruler, this but you do have a Raptor. <laughs> perfect for me. And it's in the air again. <laughs> we see, awesome. no problem. <laughs> no, no problem, stunning reward card. Thank you, Michael, for handling those cars so spectacularly. It's a true wonder to have you on the stream finally. Uh, and it's also great to see the love spreading for both our road and off-road players in the festival playlist this series as well. But up next, you all know what time it is. So this month we are highlighting an event called Microtown, created by community favourite Twisted Knot. And we're going to jump in right now and take a look. This is the first thing we see when we get in there, which to me it looks admittedly like The Simpsons, is what <laughs> I'm getting. It yeah, does. it seems like there's lots of the uh, event lab flasks uh -huh. around and uh, Ash will have to Ooh. really try to go and uh, smash into them. Mm -hmm. And there's a uh, limited time. Oh, there's a oh. limited time as well. <laughs> say that. Okay, <laughs> no team pressure. effort. Someone find a let's flask. Let's see it. We saw one in the air earlier, but let's see if there is more in this area. There is one ahead of oh, you. Oh, there's oh, one yeah. on the roof, just there on the left oh. as well. Oh. I, I think the roof will be a bit hard to get. Yeah, the one on the floor is probably yes. best. Yes. yes. I mean, I can try and get the roof one. Where is it up there? Oh, yeah, can you go up on the... <laughs> oh. I love the car you've selected for this, Ash. <laughs> I feel like you've really I'm helped us here. It's a good thing you've this got like 700 platforming. horsepower. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you did say you could drive it anywhere. Exactly. Demonstrating. Oh. I think if you reverse, you might yeah, be able to get it. It's on the other side of the... Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh, go back a bit. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I think we're no. a bit stuck. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, the flask is there. We the know flask there. is it taunting behind <laughs> us. Can we not rewind on this one? No, we're kind of oh, wiggling. Okay, I let's, think you'll fall. We can reset the car if you want, unless you want to keep wiggling it off the map. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's redo it. There we okay. go, awesome. So you mentioned this is the new, these are the flasks that were added recently? Uh, they were added a couple of, um, Months ago, I okay. believe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so when you smash into them, you can see all of the other little oh, balls okay. just uh, uh, falling <gasps> down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to get one more. Here we go. Lovely. So I do feel a bit bad 13. interrupting this uh, football match. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've it's, ruined uh, their day. 
it's been decorated really nicely here mm. like it really makes it fun to just drive around and try and finding both uh, flasks uh, like colorful so, suburbia vibe it's yeah nice. you kind of don't really oh. want to drive very uh, fast it's there <laughs> <laughs> is there anything on your left maybe have we been in this section Oh, no, never oh. mind. We've run out of time. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's restart it and have another look and let's see if we can pull the camera out a little bit and have a look and like, maybe explore some of the elements in that. That's really cool. It feels like it'd be really difficult to find all 13, though. Yes, I don't. I, I think I've only seen like five of them. Yeah, absolutely. I think we smashed three then. Could have been four, but the one on the roof evaded us. Yes. <laughs> um, right, let's see. Well, I mean, we don't have to use this. We definitely shouldn't show everyone watching the stream where they all are. Yeah. But yeah. definitely let's have a look at more of these environments. Just very nice how uh, we've got kind of like more of a flat ground on the roof as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. I believe it would be really fun to just drive around and maybe just yeah. fly. Very good. A nice helicopter. I love this, like making it look like the... Um flask is hanging off some string mm -hmm. from the helicopter yeah, it's very really creative good. yeah it's very good and like these the scenes just on the road to the left here like the building work that's oh, happening yeah. just at the front there Going really on. good uh, eye to detail mm -hmm. yeah, storytelling do you think they're employed to do that <laughs> that can't yeah. be safe this yeah, is Chank's trying... other job <laughs> <laughs> alongside his mechanic and well speaking of oh here oh. we go yeah. Oh, oh and they found oh. the sign. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we found another flask. <laughs> oh, you'll get that one for free, chat. You didn't notice this one before. That's so cool. Oh, well, somebody's moving house. <laughs> uh, was there also Is like he in the a... car as well? Is Tank driving? No, oh. it's one of the... Um... Oh. Oh. oh, it's the, the danger angry. ones. The danger ones. <laughs> there know. is a speed camera as well on there over was. there, right? Yes. Yeah, They've made it look no. like the speed camera is taking a flash, which is really cool. <laughs> this is incredible. This is so like jovial and fun and silly. And I just, it's really beautiful. It's lovely to look at and it's so detailed as well. Fantastic. I'm going to shout out again. This is Twisted Knot. Absolutely smashed this. Um, if you want to play it yourself, by the way, you can check it out right now in the PG Editor's Choice tab in game or look it up using the share code shown on screen right now. Um, and also, if you remember that lovely Race Off Festival site that we mentioned earlier, well, our Event Lab builders will be happy to know that we have new Race Off themed decorations as well. Take a look for yourself right here. Um, Halo, do you want to walk through a little bit? I would just say that it's like banners and stuff, but I feel like you know <laughs> the technical terms and can tell us better. Well, uh, we've got the free entrances that we've seen in the festival site uh, earlier. We've mm -hmm. got the eight signs and flags, uh, the two smashables, obviously, and uh, six festival uh, decorations that players can just pl uh, place them anywhere, mm -hmm. and the two walls and fences. Amazing. I love every month when we add new bits and pieces in there because I always get excited that on the next update, we're going to see them used in ridiculous ways to make dragons or, or prop hunt matches, which is just fantastic. Uh, but now I think it's time to continue the streak of fast cars hitting the festival with a brand new car pack featuring four limited build rides with a hunger for speed. Available from March 26th, 2024, the Acceleration Car Pack will be available to purchase separate from the Forza Horizon 5 Car Pass, Standard, Deluxe, and Premium Editions, and can be found on the Microsoft Store and Steam pages for $4.99, for Euros 99, or £3.99p. It's going to include the 1967 Shelby GT500, the 2021 McLaren Sabre, 2022 Ford Superfan 4, and the 2019 Ginetta G10 RM. Michael, which one of those stand out to you, love? Which one do you want to take out for a bit of a spin? It's got to be the Ford. It's got to be, Ford. isn't it? You call it a super van, and how could you not want to take it out? Exactly. I mean, we just have to look at it to see how super it is. <laughs> we'll, we'll decide if it's a super van. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Like, it's the latest in, like, a line of cars that Ford have been doing okay. since 1971 when they did the first super van, which they got uh, just a GT40 Mark II chassis and just stuck a transit body shell on it, <laughs> because why not? And now this is the latest one. Uh, they generally use them to kind of promote uh, kind of new transit vans. And this is to promote the electric transit. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. The e-custom. So this is fully electric and it's got uh, almost 2000 horsepower. 
Wow, okay. And as we can see, it's kind of very aerodynamically developed as well. It's got these really cool kind of cutouts of the top. So mm. not so much kind of storage space, but <laughs> they've done various things to cut the drag, like just above the, um, the Ford logo, there's actually an inlet there and the air goes through the car rather than oh. around the car. And uh, yeah, it does, if I just put it into all wheel drive mode, um, and it does really cool things like go extremely fast, extremely quickly. Flipping egg. <laughs> Slingshot that. Wow. So it easily hits 200, which for an oh. electric vehicle is really quick. So they've put a gear in there to maintain the, the quick launch. And then they've got a gear in there to keep the top speed really high. But yeah, 200 uh, like PS or just under um, in brake horsepower is absolutely nuts. <laughs> um, but I very much admire them for it and it does so many kind of cool things like you can uh, like in real life you can actually lock an axle and just spin the wheels of the front or rear wheels <laughs> okay sure. they say it's for tire scrubbing to warm them up but I think it's more just to make lots of nice smoke yeah just have a bit of fun and uh, yeah so they're adding lots of modes to it which I think is still in development um, so it comes with like a road and then you've got a track and a drift um, at mm -hmm. the moment and we've actually put the drift uh, into the game so you can send all the power to the rear wheels instead because why not go on can we have a look at that one i'll do that now and you'll see how how much i struggle to do <laughs> i'm very nervous of this uh oh wow just instant power. in drift it's mode. just constant power uh, i do recommend Unlimited maybe some power. some drift upgrades with this because <laughs> The extra steering lock that the drift suspension gives you is very useful for this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun to just drift around because it's just constantly spinning the wheels. It's, and you know, great. I'm more than happy to come at this from a, a car novice, but the thing I love about everything you've just said about this vehicle, this doesn't look like it would do any of that. Uh, the sheer shape of it, especially the back end, it, it, it does, it gives transit van, not drift vehicle or anything like that. I think that's what's so great, just uh -huh. about all the super vans, just they're so unique. And you know, there's only one of these, as far as I'm aware. It's It was debuted um, at 2022 Goodwood Festival okay. of Speed. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just one of those pure promotional vehicles, like, look what we can do, because why not? Because <laughs> why not? And, I love it. Uh, it's, it's just great. I love it. And uh, yeah, me talking and drifting does not go well. Um, <laughs> I think you've done superb, Michael. But if you want, we can have a look at another car now. Um, we do have time for one more. It's another one from the car pack. So which one do you want to look at? Uh, so I'd really like to look at the Ford Shelby. GC 500. It's your world, we're just living in it, Michael. Yeah. What's so good about the Shelby? Uh, well, this is just a very iconic car. So after Ford had a lot of success at Le Mans, they decided to kind of increase the capacity of the engine in mm -hmm. the GT 350 to make the GT 500. Uh, so obviously that makes it quicker, which is great. Um, but it's actually a very rare car as well. Um, the normal Mustang that the Ford made, there was, I think in 67, there was half a million made. Wow. But in 67, just over 2,000 of these were made. Um, that was just due to actually some like Shelby financial problems at the time and just it was supposed to be more limited anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so it's incredibly rare and incredibly valuable now. Um, I can't rem remember actually how many survived to this day, but it's not Survived? Too Goodness me, that sounds dramatic. Yeah, I think there's some stories <laughs> about actual kind of real life kind of barn finds of these, like people can believe like <gasps> where they'd kind so of cool. ended up and stuck in a garage somewhere. Um, Do you have one of them, Ash? We're talking about you being a super <laughs> fan. How many of these have you got stashed away? Three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're all hiding away, nobody else can help them. Just littered across England. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just really good. You get some unique body parts with it as well compared to the Mustang. So like the headlights are different and you have these extra air intakes on the bonnet and on the side, behind the side windows. So it's just a really great car. And we've got some really good customization for this as well, uh, which I'll show you quickly. What kind of stuff? Is that all over customization or? So, there was various uh, like modifications of this vehicle at the time, especially in the year afterwards as well. So I've been able to get some of these into the car as well. There was a version, I think it's the GT500 KR, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got these as well. 
And uh, Ash, you'd be very rich if you had like three of these. Uh, <laughs> I think they sell. I don't doubt for a second that Ash is very, very rich well, and they, is hiding cars across the country. They sell for between like four to five hundred thousand dollars now. Woo! So I'm kind <laughs> of wondering you know. why you're sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's there's various different modifications that were done to the car. So as you'll see, even though we've done like a front bumper upgrade, uh -huh. and the bonnet was always part of this upgrade. So we've we've made them as one here. So you've got like the stock, and then you can kind of change the where the bumper and mm -hmm. the bonnet intakes are moving as well, and the the headlight positions. So we've got in total like four of actual kind of real life front layouts for this mm -hmm. vehicle, which I think is really great. So because this vehicle was kind of had variants but also modified as, as well a bit i think you can find like the modification that the players like at home as well yeah of course and replicate that in i the feel game. like i've seen each version of these cars as well you started by saying that this is like a famous is it in like movies or something or am i just going mad there was one in gone in 60 seconds it might be that then with the that movie's Cajun. a bit of me yeah, yeah okay so <laughs> Um, yeah, that, let's not get into that movie right now. <laughs> oh, the there's car. simply no time. <laughs> be a long live stream. Um, so yeah, if you want to live out your inner Nicolas Cage, then... Which we is, all do. This is the car for you. That's why um, we're gathered here today. Yeah, it just looks great. It just, just those extra kind of air intakes and details on the Shelby versions just really set it apart. So this is going to be great for some really good photography in the game, I think. What a great challenge for everyone. Well, thank you very much for taking us through those. Such a great in-depth look at just two of the four cars I mentioned on the Acceleration Car Pack, which, please don't forget, is going to be hitting the Horizon Festival on March 26th, 2024. But the fun doesn't end there because, as always, we have another update coming your way next month. You should know this by now. But I do think what we're going to do is have a sneak peek at it. So what have we got coming up next month? Starting on April 25th of 2024, we have Apex All-Stars. Uh, you're going to see new cars, a new collectible, some fantastic new event lab props, and a bunch of new events. Mm, okay, very intriguing. Thank you very much. Leaves with a ton of questions, as always. <laughs> but that is unfortunately all from us here at Playground Games today. A big thank you to our lovely guests on the couch, as well as the one who's not on air anymore, for walking us through all the Forza Horizon 5 news this month. We are excited to see the entire community working together to conquer the Horizon race off starting on March 28th, 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, everyone, for joining me on the couch today and we will see you next time. Adios. Adios. Adios.